What is up guys, my name is RedSportHD and I'm on the Phaser Network and I'm coming at you guys with a commentary that is extremely important to all of us because if you guys are on YouTube to make videos and eventually get partnered, we have all gone through this and well, it's called professionalism and it all starts right as we make our, make our account. It's your name choice. It starts off with what is your username going to be? What is your screen name? Now, everyone when they make a name, it, some people go with some names that actually make no sense or they're not catchy. You know, like the XXX Quickscoper X squared 5. You know, that's not pretty professional, but something, you know, like Guild Guild Skyrim or something. Something that is based around your channel. Like, for me, example, I'm Red Sport HD. Why is this a kind of professional name? Because it's everything that represents me and you guys see it in every video, you guys just do not know it. Because <laughs> I have not explained what my name means yet to anyone really. But anyways, the next thing is after you find a professional name, you need to get a professional looking background channel. Because if your channel is blank, it's not appealing. So that is just my opinion that you know many people won't subscribe or watch your videos if it's kind of not professional looking. And then it comes down to your content. Content is an extremely point important thing in starting off with a professional YouTube channel. You guys don't want to start off if you guys are going into the gaming field with a night, you know, with a dazzle because dazzles are not going to cut it. People want to see HD. Or if you're going with into the vlogs, people don't want to see it off a, you know, a Nokia cell phone from the 2000s, from 2000 something, you know, just 2000. Let's put it like that. People want to see HD content nowadays, and they most people don't settle for less. So, also people want to have someone that is fluent as they speak. I know I am not fluent, I am working on that, and it takes time for everyone to get fluent as they speak. It's very hard for certain people because sometimes, like me, I'm very shy. So that's one thing that people, you know, have to get more better in, like me. This is why I'm on the Phaser Network, I'm hopefully here to get better, but... That is one professional thing that people want to see, and they want to see your sound quality be professional. For example, they don't want to see you use Turtle Beaches unless you can make it sound really good. It's just an example. That's just some people's opinions I've seen. Like me, I'm using the Blue Snowball Ice Edition. I yet have I yet to have a pop filter on it, but still, it's pretty professional. And that's pretty much it. What makes what it takes to become professional. Except there's one more thing that is super duper important that just came to my mind. Your attitude on your videos. You guys need to have an excellent attitude to toward what you're doing. Try to make it professional. For example, let's say you're talking about a review on a keyboard. Uh, any type of keyboard, mechanical or not. And you're just bashing the product. I mean, you gotta give your pros and cons. You can't just be straight up biased with the bad stuff. You have to give it, all right, this is what it's good about, this is what it's bad about, this is my opinion. You kinda have to make it flow like in an essay. You have to start with your thesis, which in this example would be the keyboard, and then you're gonna give your pros and cons, and then come to a conclusion on what your opinion is. I know that might seem a little bit out there, but that's how, that's how I do it, at least, if I'm gonna review something. But yeah, your attitude, your quality, your background, and your username are all very important features in starting a YouTube channel and trying to be professional. Well, anyways, guys, this has been Respirate HD, and it's been a little lesson on professionalism because I've not, I haven't seen a lot of people that are wanting to start out. Like my friends on Xbox, they just send me messages saying, "Check out my channel." Well, they're not really professional, and I don't want to subscribe because of their content. It's not really good. So I just want to pass this around. Maybe this might help someone be like, oh, okay, this is what I need to actually look good. Or anything like that. But, you know, if you guys don't, you know, if you guys don't do this, well, hey, you know, it's just up to you. This is, again, I'm going to put this out here. And this is a biased commentary. This is what I feel that is needed in a YouTube channel. You guys don't have to agree with it. But anyways, it's Red Sport HD. And I hope you guys have enjoyed